I was thinking this could be useful to some people out there using Blender and, and not knowing where to leave all their metadata. Like, uh, I don't know, you, you may have stumbled across an article or you watched some YouTube videos, uh, some tutorials. Where do you leave that information inside Blender so you've got like everything together? When I was working on this little, like uh, the bunny ears, uh, bunny ears magic hat thing for a weekly contest, um, I normally use my Python, or I use a text file, and I would say Python text file, to dump all my all my metadata. So here, uh, I mean, normally yeah, your screen looks like maybe like this. Right? This is how your screen looks like. You've got your your three D view. If you click here in the top left corner, you you left click and drag to the right. You can split the screen. Then the left part of the screen, I'm going to change it. So I'm going to select my text editor there my text editor and you can see like I've got all my lines of text here now I start each line with a hash symbol because that starts a comment in in Python so it's ignored by any uh, any interpreter um, and then the first part is just for me I just the title of what I'm what I'm watching for example here's like how do I uh, create a bunny ear in a very easy way without a bone system and all that stuff and here I have the link for the, the YouTube and, and that's how I do my maintain my documentation inside Blender so your project becomes like kind of like self-documenting because you know how it's horrible if you find a link and like uh, three months down the track you need it again and you just can't find it anymore so chuck it inside your, your Blender project so you can't lose it anymore uh, if you add anything here, I mean, if you save your Blender file, the text file is part of your Blender file. So you don't need to save the text files separately. If you save your Blender file, anything you add here is also saved well, to your Blender, as part of your Blender file. So that's pretty cool. The, initially, the first time it looks a little bit different though. Um, so if I do a file, new, general, don't save. So initially, if you want to set up your first text file, so I click here. Actually, I'll, I'll split the screen again so it looks the same. Here I go to text editor. See, there's nothing. So you need to initially open up a new file. So clickety click, and then you can go hash. So this is like uh, some text. Enter, hash, and this is your link. And where you paste your link from YouTube or whatever. And every now and then you may have to open up your text file. So if you click here, you can actually see your text file. If it doesn't show automatically, you may have to click here and then open up the text file. Okay, and if you save Blender, the text file is saved automatically with it. So hopefully it, uh, it's useful to some people that want to keep their documentation inside Blender rather than separate uh, f I mean, in, in a different file, which to me, it, it doesn't work. This works quite well to me. Okay, so have fun with it. Bye-bye.